What's going on guys? As you can see all the way down here, we do have a rookie Lonzo Ball. Has not played a game yet, is only 19 years old. We will be re-simulating his NBA career. Honestly, he's looking fantastic on a court considering he hasn't played in two and a half years. It really is looking like that injury didn't affect him too much as a player. Now I did also draft, where is he? Dylan Harper to pair alongside Lonzo in our backcourt. AD is coming off a 23-13-3-2-2 two season. So we're keeping him at the 4 or 5. However, I will be trading LeBron. He averaged 22, 7, 7 is still in a block last year, which are really great stats. However, he's 40 years old, so that just does not pay her well with Lonzo's timetable. So I'm just going to be exploring options for him. I have been sitting here for nine minutes trying to find a LeBron trade. I have explored a million and one options. I go into the proposed trade instead of just LeBron and AR, and I search, and we see Sabonis and DeMar. Look. Obviously, DeMar is getting up there in age, and Sabonis is still an all-NBA player. I think this is going to be insane for our rotation. We're doing this, no debate, just because we already have AD, right? We slide him to the 5, we have Sabonis at the 4, or actually, let's slide AD to the 4. We have Sabonis, AD, DeMar, Dylan Harper, and Lonzo in the starting 5, right? That's insane. We still have Rui coming off the bench as well, which means we can get rid of D'Lo, we can get rid of Jared Vanderbilt, Gabe Vincent, Max Christie. We're getting rid of D'Lo here with Max Christie. We're getting Eamon Thompson and a first round pick. This man won six man of the year last year. So the perfect addition to our bench, especially next to Ruby, who's more of like a three level scoring type player. So we get a defensive guard, which is perfect. We still have Vanderbilt here. We're going to package him, Vincent, and I guess Jalen Hood because I extended his contract. Why? could not tell you all right i have no idea oh my gosh we're gonna get top this gives us a playmaking three-point shooting point guard next to Eamon thompson who's not the best shooter we also still have ruby who i'm gonna slide to the four so that dawn does get rotational minutes this year because he definitely deserves them and now we have a rotation of lonzo ball nicola top we're gonna start dylan harper with Eamon coming off our bench with damar dalton ruby ad and sabonis the new look lakers are in full effect right now we have the third best record in the league the second best record in our conference now the issue is that mavericks team that we just lost to 96 to 132 is insane that is such a blowout and i'm assuming they're the first seed so at least we won that game against them it gives me a little bit of hope but they've just been unstoppable in the rebuild recently i don't know what's been going on they've literally been winning every single nba championship Eamon thompson does win six man of the year for us which is good to see i honestly might have to find a spot in the starting lineup for him where is beyond me do we not have any all nba players sabonis does make that all nba third, third team okay and so does ad and then lebron made it on the kings now lebron did lead the kings to the sixth seed who do they have right now starting De'Aaron, austin reeves lebron keegan kelly olenic is their starting center man yeah we're the second seed minnesota is actually the first seed hold up dallas is the fourth seed if we can somehow not play them at all. I have high hopes for us making it to the finals. Sabonis had 17, 11 rebounds, 7 assists, a steal, and a block. AD had 21 points, 10 rebounds, 3 assists, a steal, 2 blocks. Lonzo, as a rookie, had 10 points, 5 rebounds, 9 assists, 2 steals, half a block. The video of the man is here. 10, 5, 9, 2 as a rookie is actually crazy. Bro was doing everything on the court, and he shot 34% from 3. Dylan Harper also averaged 15, 5, 5 over a steal, half a block. DeMar only 15 points, 2 rebounds, 3 assists, and a steal. If anybody's getting traded in the starting lineup, it's definitely him. Shooting splits are phenomenal, but we don't really need another score there. Off the bench, Eamon had 13 points, 7 rebounds, 5 assists, 2 steals, and a block. Over 60% as a guard, man. He had our best field goal percentage on the team. Rui had 6 points, 3 rebounds. Nikola Tomic had 8 points, 4 assists, and a steal. Dalton had 10 points, 2 rebounds. What did he shoot from 3? Almost 40% on 2 makes a game is crazy. Work. I'm a big fan of our bench and honestly just the rotation we have in general. Oh my gosh, we have to play the broad in the second round. This man's going for the, the comeback considering we traded that man. Okay, we're up 3-1. I ain't worried about you, LeBron. We went in four, what, five games there? And we are playing Minnesota. Now, I would rather play them than the Mavericks even though they were the first seed. They have Dillingham, Anthony Edwards, Jaden McDaniels, Julius Randle, and Gobert. I really wish this team would just start Nas Reed next to Randle. I feel like that would pair really well they also have the i didn't take the other lonzo out just because i wanted to see at the end how their couple of seasons panned out against each other he's averaging what he averaged 10 4 6 2 still in a block this season so pretty much just what the rookie lonzo had as we do lose the first game of this series okay we also lose the second game so maybe i wanted to play the mavericks instead because why are we getting waxed by julius randall right now that man actually did just have a master class 
against the Kings, bro. Like, didn't miss. It was actually generational. We're getting blown out here. We just lost every single quarter. So we are still a step back from making it to the finals. We're down 3-0 here. Let's just go ahead and get the series out of the way. And we get swept. This man just averaged 37 points. Not only that, Tyrese just won up him. 41 points, 13 assists in a four-game series. And they lost? How do you put up those stats and lose? The Hornets actually just gave the Timberwolves a run for their money. The Timberwolves are final champions. But the Hornets with Lons, who do they have? Lamelo, Brandon Miller, Jimmy, Miles Bridges, and Mark Williams were able to advance to the finals. So, yo, they got Lori off the bench too? Dang, Charlotte. I ended up simulating the draft because I didn't think we would have any kind of pick. Apparently, we had the seventh pick. We get Koa Pete from it. He was a phenomenal player, especially at that age. So I'm thinking we package him and Damar, and we get a different wing, right? Who I'm looking for is Biami, preferably a defensive-minded player. I'm going to package Damar here with Koa. We just do not have the time for him to develop. I mean, I guess I kind of do, but I'm, I'm not waiting on it. Oh my gosh, I could disassemble the Timberwolves, all right? We get Randall at that small forward position. This isn't bad. Cam Whitmore is a freaking score, though. I don't really need... Okay, Scotty Barnes, that's literally perfect. We move him to the small forward position, over, average over a steal and a block. Last season, 34% from three. We also get a bench player in RJ Barrett. Honestly, that trade is probably going to be done. Scotty Barnes is the perfect addition for this team, in my opinion. He's not like a one or two option, but we don't really need him to be on our team. So we're going to take him. Like I said, we get RJ Barrett with this trade package as well. So he can come off our bench for some scoring next to Eamon Thompson. Now, this is interesting, though, right? Because... We don't really need Dalton now, which, I mean, that sucks to say, but shoot, he just might also have to go. This is just a no-brainer. I think we're just going to roll with this rotation of Lonzo, Nikola Topic, Eamon Thompson, Dylan Harper, RJ, Scotty Barnes, Anthony Davis, Aaron Gordon, and Sabonis. Uh, I really might just be washed. We've reached the point of the rebuild to where the team is just like too deep. It's hard to make a reasonable rotation when my bench players are pretty much starters at their position which is weird but i mean dude we might win 50 games we might not if we do it's barely we just took 50 games with what a couple games left in the reg regular season we may be a mid 50 win team 54 isn't awful but with the players we have just i don't know how it's not more and we don't have any all nba players as far as the all defensive teams go we got ad on one of them which is Fine, we're all the way down to the third seed now. The Spurs are now a better team record-wise than us. Okay, to be fair, this is an absolutely stacked rotation. We will quickly see how Lonzo played this year. Average 12 points, 5 rebounds, 9 assists, a steal, and a block. Honestly, this is pretty realistic. He pretty much would average around this throughout his entire career. Eventually, probably get a scoring up to around 20-ish points. Hopefully, we can do that in the simulation. But he's just going to do hes gonna do a little bit of everything on the court if we lose this year i'm really just gonna package almost every we just lost in the first round man i'm packaging everybody for luka Doncic and Wimby. i'm done we are literally gonna trade everybody except for alonzo and like Eamon thompson who has been going crazy the timberwolves are nba champions once again anthony edwards welcome to the los angeles lakers we're gonna try to get victor here i drafted alex costanza we're gonna get rid of sabonis ad and aaron gordon as well as a pick we're getting Wimby on the team i'm telling you it's in game right now i'm then gonna get rid of scotty barnes Eamon thompson dylan harper rj barrett and tovic in hopes of getting luca here it's it's over all right i'm actually surprised those trades went through we have three players on the roster we got lots of luca and Wimby, but i don't care bro the league is cooked looks like we are going to be able to sign brandon miller oh my freak uh that was that was my that was my gold mine right there all right new plan we're gonna get cam whitmore real quick he's like six oh my gosh we're cooked we're actually getting cooked hold up we gotta we gotta think this through colobi would not be bad never mind let's see jairus walker i pretty much just have to take whatever i can get at this point we still have some great players available i could always slide Luka do the small forward position as well and get a 20 point per game score in Tyler Hero. We still have the money to sign one more insane player. I just don't really know how I want to go about it. Low-key, Jairus Walker can do a little bit of every- Dang it! We are not getting anybody! Yeah, at this point, give me Sohan. Just for 38 mil, I don't even care. We're getting Jeremy Sohan on the team. I just, I'm over it, man. And then we are gonna lob- I don't- 
I don't even know. Am I really finna get Dell? Who, who is Dell and Terry? That is the weirdest name I've ever seen. We're gonna give Precious Achiwa a deal. I, I guess he's a starting caliber power for it. As far as our bench goes, give me Kevin Herter for a year on a $4 million contract. Oh gosh, we're cooked, aren't we? Give me Jock Landel, right? Okay, okay. Give me give me Lindy Waters the third. We'll run him at the three. He hit a game winner in like preseason. That's that's the whole bench right there. Alright, we're gonna move Lindy to the small forward position. Actually goes up quite a bit. And now we have a rotation of Lonzo, Luca, Kevin Herter, Jeremy Sohan, Lindy Waters, Precious Achiwa, Victor, and Jock Landel. <laughs> I don't even know how this is possible. We're the second seed. We're not even the first seed. The Spurs are actually the first seed. They are starting who? AD and Sabonis. Oh my. Yo, nah, 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 nah. They got a freaking 18,000 man rotation right here. As far as the Kings, the other team we made a trade with, they have Topic, Thompson, Barnes, Tari Eason, Capella, Dylan Harper, RJ, Jimmy, Devin Carter. They also have like an 18 man rotation. Just because of how many players I gave those teams for the two people that we did acquire as far as player stats lonzo look at that up to 13 points seven rebounds 10 assists two steals and a block an absolute beast as a defensive playmaker maker wimby he did take mvp this season averaged 29 points 11 rebounds five assists two steals and two blocks luca made the all nba first team with 29 8 7 and a steal jeremy Sohan actually had 15 6 4 a steal half a block pressures achiwa had 8 8 a steal and a block off our bench kevin herter had 10 lenny waters had six jock lando had five and three. Honestly, if we don't make it to the finals this time around, I just... Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, the Mavericks. Why? I feel like this team's still gonna beat us, man. It's just, the Mavericks are always gonna beat us. Oh my gosh, we beat them in five games. Both the Spurs and the Kings got upset. It's our time to shine. Shay, I'm not even worried about this team. Not even a little bit. Oh my gosh, we beat them in five. The GOAT! Lonzo Ball made this happen because of the playmaker he is. He untapped Wimby's final potential, who just averaged 38, 15, 5, 3, and 2. We're playing freaking the Raptors. Okay, they actually have Koa P. I gave them Koa. He's actually been going crazy for him, apparently. He's not even starting for him. They have quick, quickly McKenzie, who's averaging 21. No, he's not. He's averaging 16. He's a 6'8 shooting guard. They also have a 6'8 small forward and Grady Dick. Bryson Tilly, who's a 6'9. Then they have Duran. They have Koa P coming off their bench with Yakov. This is not a bad team by any means. But bro, look at the rotation. Lonzo, Luca, Victor. That's all you need to see. It is absolutely cooked for them. We win in six games. I win my first championship in like 18 videos. Wimby takes finals MVP. Throughout the playoffs, Lonzo did average what? What he averaged? I already know they're insane. Look at that. 17 points, 7 rebounds, 10 assists, 2 steals, and a block while shooting 40% from three and attempting a little over seven a game. It's safe to say his career has been revived. It has averaged 12, 6, 9, 2, and almost a block throughout his career so far with pretty good shooting splits. I would say the free throw percentage and field goal percentages are eh, especially considering how high the three point percentage is. It doesn't make much sense, but he's played really well so far. Did what he could to bring the Lakers a championship. Acquired some great talents like Luka and Victor who just had to play alongside of him. If you guys enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe, comment, and I will catch you all with the next video.